demonstrate my freshly completed 60 amp high current EVSC. This is a home unit that's wall mountable with the ears but it's put in a very small package as you can see. It's currently set for 40 amps. We're gonna go into the menu. This is a um, metal waterproofed button. It has an o-ring and we're running um, the Open EVSC version 3 board. This also uses a 60 amp Potter and Brumfield relay bank. Um, this is set up for 240 volts only. Um, that's what the uh, version 3 board is designed for. Uh, it also has a additional current transformer in addition to the GFI transformer so they can measure current. That's uh, the big th uh, new thing with the version 3 board as well as the ability to drive a high power contactor. However, I don't like the buzzing or uh, some of the high cost of uh, the contactor so I chose to go with the uh, Potter and Brumfield relays. So let's go in the service menu by pressing and holding. The backlight type should be left on RGB because this is the RGB real-time clock display. This is the top of the line uh, display board from uh, Chris's o Open EVSC store as well as the top of the line version 3 board. Um, the service level is uh, should be level 2. It's actually funny that that's still in the firmware there. But it's the same firmware uh, used for all models. Maximum current. Here's where we can dial it in. These are the stock settings and you can see it can go up to 80 amps. You shouldn't set this unit over uh, 60 because the cable and the relays aren't meant for higher than that. And your car will only draw what it can draw. In this case, I have a 2013 Nissan Leaf with a 6.6 .6 kilowatt onboard charger, so it's only gonna draw about 27 amps. Uh, this is the diode check, vent required check, and ground check, as well as GFI self-test, and these are all safety features. We want to leave those all enabled. Uh, the date and time can be changed very easily by going into this menu. I'll ch show you. I've already done it. You do short presses for selection, or scroll, and long presses are uh, your confirm. There's a delay timer that can be set, and you tell it yes or no. And we're gonna leave it to no right now. And then finally, uh, restart or exit. And you can see it start right up. It's also a sleep mode. This doesn't tend to really do anything. If you press it, you'll get that. Okay, let's uh, plug it in and see it go to work. This whip I'm using uses a Dostar uh, high amperage plug. Um, 75 amp plug, I believe, is what the uh, it is. It have the number in the listing, and then a very nice uh, 60 amp uh, rated. The label's upside down. Uh, very very heavy cable. This is actually a shielded cable. It's 23 feet long, and it's very robust. Now you can see that it's charging went into charge mode. This will tell you how long it's been charging for, as well as the current time and the amperage draw. It's got a very fast uh, reacting ammeter built in. It will change very quickly. This gives you an idea of how much you're drawing. Now, if you're out in the field and you're using a, um, an adapter, um, for like a portable version of this, that's why you'd want to be able to dial the amperage back to something that doesn't exceed the circuit you're plugged into. That's about it. Thanks for checking it out.